Good day and welcome to our unboxing, uh, teardown, disassembly, and uh, change of the hard drive on the Inspiron 24. This is specifically the Inspiron 5477. It's an all-in-one model and uh, let's unbox it and see what we have. Okay, so most people will pull things out. I will flip it over, most likely. So that's going to be the keyboard. I think it's too late for the power supply. Let's just see here. Yeah, that's keyboard and mouse. Wireless, we'll put that aside. We'll look at those in a minute. Uh, in this side, there is the power supply. A little heavier. So, just the standard, in this case, just North American plug. And yeah, standard Dell power brick. Nothing exciting. All in one manual um, and warranty and safety information. Who cares? Quick start guide is probably useless, but let's just open it up for fun and see if there's anything interesting in here. Uh, power button's on the right side. That's what all I've learned so far. Put the cables through the middle, thanks for that. Make sure you power it up. And an explanation of all of the ports. So let's just look at that for a second. Okay, so it's got a bunch of USB ports, network port, power, HDMI in, HDMI out. That's good. And uh, let's uh, put this away now. Okay, bag of silica. Actually, this doesn't look like silica, it's a replacement for silica. Oh, it is silica. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> okay. Silica just keeps the uh, unit dry during shipping. Pull this out as well. This is a base. Let's open that up so you can see it. Yeah, just the base. It was a guess that it was the base, by the way, but it turns out that's what it is. Now, normally I would just turn this upside down. Actually, let's just do that anyway. That's just the way I like to do things. Flip it upside down. A lot easier than trying to lift it out. Let's just pull this apart. So this will tip us up on end. Get rid of the foam block. Put this down on a soft surface. Get rid of the block. And start unwrapping. There we go. Okay, so what we have here, it's uh, moderately heavy, actually heavier than I would have expected, but not shockingly heavy. And as shown in the diagram, we have uh, USB uh, 3, USB 3, uh, USB 2, USB 2, network, HDMI in and out, power, headphone jack. On this side, there's an SD card reader. There is a uh, USB 3.1 that is not Thunderbolt, which is quite disappointing. I wish it was Thunderbolt. That is um, USB 3. Point, uh, USB 3, and that is a headphone jack. So let's put this down. We will now disassemble it. We will pull out the, the SATA spinning disc, and we will replace it with a solid state SATA connected disc. Okay, so to disassemble this, we first need to pull off this uh, cowling, if you want to call it that, around the base. Then there's a screw or two to take out to remove this uh, base stand off. And then there's a switch inside that we use to press and pull it back off. So let's just do that. So this is tricky. I, this is, I've never done this before in this unit, or actually any of these particular all-in-ones. So I'm doing this blind. This is the first time everything's been open. So everything you hear, that's what it sounds like. So it's going to be loud. When you're doing this, make sure you're doing it on a soft surface like carpet. Okay, so now this apparently has uh, some screws we can take out. I'm going to try with a little one. Yep, there we go. One on each side, I believe. Let's just get those out. Come on. There you go. One out. Nothing too exciting there. All right. Now I always keep my uh, assembly in the, I always keep my parts in the uh, order in which I pulled them out. So I will lay them down 
and we will disassemble that way. Okay. Yeah, this small screwdriver is awfully small for this particular job, but usually that's the size of screwdriver I need. So there we go. Now this just slides off. Again, nothing particularly exciting. It just hooks back in when we're done with it. So let's put that away. Push this little tab down, push it up. Oh, there we go. Wow, that's easier than I thought. Well, much easier than I thought. So that's a very simple arrangement. That's beautiful. So that's that pulled apart. I'll put the door there. Again, I'm doing this blind. I just do this kind of stuff a lot at work with up and running technologies. We do this a lot. So I'm going to assume that I can figure this out without reading the manual or watching somebody else's video or whatever. So let's just pull this off. Need these four screws. Now, if this was an older unit, I would take this opportunity to uh, pull the, sorry, blow out the CPU fan, but this one's brand new. I got it from Dell just a day or so ago. This screwdriver is not magnetic tip and it makes me crazy. So I'm going to go get something that is magnetic tip. There we go. There's that one. And I drop one there. I've never, ever lost a screw on a computer. Because if you do, you'll probably get a short. So that's not good. Okay, so let's pull this out. I'm going to assume I slide it north as well. No. Nope. Oh, just lift it up. There we go. Now that is getting caught here. I'm not sure why. Let's figure that out together. Looks like maybe the hard drive has to come out first. So let's try this. Yep, that's your hard drive mount. So that is unbelievably easy to change. Okay, nothing exciting. I'll disassemble it by doing that. This is all just flex mount. So no screws, really nice, good solution. Anyway, so I'll put that down. And now this will just slide out, I imagine. That was still caught. Oh, there's a screw here I missed. Okay, so don't do that. There's five screws to pull out. And actually, before I do that, I see here, this is labeled, you can't see that, but it's labeled dim door. So I'm guessing I just pull that, and this pops open. Look at that. So if you want to just change the memory, pull the dim door off. Dim door off, the hard drive out. Look at that. Beautiful. So just a typical shield. Okay, so let's just go through this. You've got your CPU which goes out to the heat pipe and goes to the uh, CPU fan. Got your memory, uh, two DIMMs, got a, uh, a BIOS battery. There's a switch here, which uh, tells the system whether the case is closed or not. Perhaps it won't start without that down, or at least there's something in the BIOS that says that. And again, there's a connector for the hard drive. There's also this entire assembly for the uh, camera, which is nice. And I'm very happy to see that there is a PCI Express uh, connector. So right there is the SSD. It says SSD thermal pad. What it boils down to is you can put a PCI Express connected, um, uh, or for that matter, a SATA connected, because PCI Express and SATA uh, uh, SSDs are interchangeable, typically. But you should put um, something like a Toshiba RC100 chip in there, quite small, a 2242 uh, chip, M2 chip, and that will be your hard drive. That is the best way to go. That is much faster than the SATA bus. Um, and that's very nice. Now it does mention you need the thermal pad, and I'd suggest you definitely do that, that you put something on top of that chip uh, to dissipate the heat, because it will get toasty. Okay, so I'm going to take this solid state disc, no moving parts, and replace this actually pretty nice um, Barracuda that uh, Dell shipping. And it's pretty easy to do. So I should have paid attention to which way it came out, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that is it. So I'm just going to clip that in. There we go. And clip in. There we go. So drop it down. Slide it over. There we go. That's happy. Um, on principle, I'm just going to get rid of this one step. I'm going to pop this 
uh, door back on just so it's one less thing to deal with. And now let's pop this down, pop the cover down. So if you're worried about changing your hard drive or adding memory, don't. It's really pretty straightforward. Okay, good enough. That's done. Now we just start popping stuff back on. Now this, let's just look at how that hooks in. Yeah. So you may not be able to see this very clearly, but basically they're just hooks here. So we just have to sand it. You can see here there's slides and glides. So we just push it down a little bit and slide it down. There we go. And I can see it's lined up properly, which is happy. And that tab is clipped back in, so it's not gonna come off now, which is great. Then I'll take the mount, and put the mount, put the mount on. Again, just scoop it in, hook it in. There it is, two screws in the bottom. Far superior to the HP assembly, and I don't say that easily. Yeah, this is really, really nice to work with. Pop it on. Now, as I recall, I put that on. Yeah, there we go. So I'm starting at the back, and then I'm going to squeeze down at the front. Beautiful. That's that. Now we'll get the base. And it's probably hand twist. Yes, it is. You can see that little hand twist, so that's good. So I'll, while I've got it upside down, I might as well just pop it on. There we go. So at this point, I have unboxed, disassembled, swapped the hard drive, reassembled my 24-inch Dell.